taking on Warren D. LaSalle. Boys Lacrosse match on MCTV channel 189 on Charter and on 18U verse channel 99 in Midland. This event will be cablecasted on the following dates and times, Saturday, May 2nd and Sunday, May 3rd at 8 a.m. and 8 p.m. Be sure to follow MCTV on Facebook, and you can view some programs online at www.cityofmidlandmichigan.gov backslash MCTV. Uh, announcing tonight here, I'm with Connor Kylitz and Austin Ears, myself. We have the Midland Cavaliers as the home team. And this program comes quite a long way since beginning in 2005, which is 13 players. Uh, currently up to 270 players. Uh, Connor and myself both were a part of programs here. Uh, Connor, how will you tell us about your playing time here? Uh, my playtime here started in 2012. I was a junior in high school. And I started on a JVB team to help learn the game and then uh, played on the varsity team in 2013 along with you. And yeah, I started playing here in about sixth grade. Uh, coach Stoudemire, the head coach of the varsity team currently, uh, found me at the hockey rink and he said, hey, how about you come try out uh, playing lacrosse? And a few of my buddies got along and Currently, those same buddies and I uh, play college lacrosse along with uh, at least a dozen other players who are now playing college lacrosse or have played college lacrosse. Uh, the program comes quite a long way since its beginning in 2005. Uh, Midland actually hosts a tournament called Honor to the Game for uh, youth teams. Um, it'll be May 9th this year, and there's over 50 teams that come into town play annually. Uh, I've been out there for a few years now, and it's quite the tournament they put on. Yep, it's a tournament for the uh, younger age groups, third through eighth grade, I believe. Third through eighth grade, I would, I would uh, agree with you on that. Yeah. Um, this program, uh, since 2012, our uh, first year in the SVL uh, varsity program, varsity program, we won it three times in a row since then. The and, first uh, time tied with Flint Powers. Since then, has gone on to outright win it twice. Right. And Coach Stoudemire has also won an SVL Coach of the Year in this time. Here we are for the national anthem. Little technical difficulties there on the national anthem, but don't worry, the crowd sung it for us and it was beautiful. Um, starting lineups tonight for your Cavaliers at attack. Brett Brillhart, the senior, one of the leading goal scorers for this team. 
along with his line mates, Cam Cassidy, another senior, and John Jardis, who is a sophomore, I believe. Um, at the midfield, we have Lobo, Zach Donahue at the X, otherwise known as the face-off guy, along with Alex Farrell at the other wing. At defense, we have Kay Wagner, Connor Wilson, and Dave Kefner. In goal, we got Jacob, better known as JP the freshman, making it his start tonight. Looks like we have number 11, Connor Wilson, playing LSM here for the opening face. And Farrell on the other wing. Lobo will sit for the pole. How about we uh, tell those that might not be accustomed to lacrosse what an LSM does? Uh, LSM usually is on the field as the fourth pole. You're allowed four poles on the field at a time. And he plays defense mainly. And when it tr transitions to his team playing offense, he comes off the field and an offensive midfielder comes on. In lacrosse, you have offense midfielders and defense midfielders that specify an offense and defense. Looks like we have a cross-checking penalty on number 12. Jonathan Jardis, the sophomore, will serve a one-minute cross-check. A cross check in uh, lacrosse is very similar to a cross check in hockey, I believe, correct? Absolutely. Same thing, just with a little different stick there. Right. Got De La Salle and the man up with a shot from the wing. Nice save by JP in his opening debut. That's got to build the confidence. Walk it up here for the clear. Nice pass up to Lobo. Try to field the ground ball. Good man ball. De La Salle comes with that on the break. Out of bounds going to be Cavalier's ball. Oh, a little miscommunication there. Brillhard didn't see it coming. De La Salle comes up with it. Number 11 from De La Salle, bringing it up the field. Good check there by number 22, uh, Kate Tano Wagner. Moves up the field, fast break. Donahue moves it down to Jardis. Little scrum for the ball. Lobo comes up thick. Going to make a move to the goal. Just going to settle the offense behind X here. X in the cross is notified as the area behind the goal. Donahue with it up top now. Surveys the field. Looks for Brillhard on the crease. Can't control it. De La Salle comes up thick, running the break. Fast break it here for De La Salle. Going to slow it down here and move it behind back to X. Shot score, De La Salle. Pilot strike first. One to zero. Going 
goal was scored by number three, Jacob Okuva. Face off here now, De La Salle comes up with the ground ball, moves it up the field, another fast break opportunity. Going to the cage, shot, scores! Number two with the goal. Quinn O'Connor, midfield junior. Set up here for the face off. Donahue at the X again, gonna try and win this and get things going for the Cavaliers. Wilson on the wing at the LSM. Looks like we got withholding on De La Salle, Cavaliers ball. Jardis with a nice face dodge, moves it to Lobo, who surveys the field. Still surveys, surveys, setting things up here now for the Cavaliers. Ellis Thames playing tough D on them, taking a run now. Nice split dodge back to his right, shoots just wide. Backed up by Brillhart, Cavaliers ball. Across one of those sports, you can still shoot out of bounds and end up with the ball as long as your team's closest to the ball when it goes out. Real hard taking the dodge, question marks, double team comes, shoots just wide. Once again, backed up by the Cavaliers. By Cam Cassidy, number four. Lobley serves the field, moves it down to Cassidy on the wing. Nice fake pass there, takes it down the alley. Question marks, nothing there, back up to Lobo. Lobo pass inside, mishandled. Ground ball, De La Salle, they're on the break. Tough ride there by Farrell, forces him to move it down the alley, back down to X. Errant pass, Cavaliers come up with it. Wilson with it now, looking to run the clear. Right into the JP in the goal, start the break. Now the goalie is allowed to carry the ball as far up as he wants, as long as we say you have a fourth member of the defensive team in, in his end, correct? Correct. Across one of those sports, it's in similar to all sides and other sports, except you have to have four people respectfully on your side of the field. Payne Cassidy with now looking to dodge, moves over to Donahue, pass to the crease. Ooh, end up being a shot, good save though. And uh, Payne will come off the field for the LSM to come on, similar how we talked earlier. The offensive mid comes off with the long pole. And the offensive middies come off for defense middies. We have number 29, Eller, playing defensive mid, Cole Smith. A white, uh, white ball. ball there. Moves it up to Donahue. Donahue looking to get by the LSM for De La Salle. Moves it over to Brillhart. Brillhart gets the touch in the box. Cavaliers looking to set up something and get on the scoreboard here about halfway through the first quarter. Pass to the crease to Jardis with the shot. Scores! Brillhart with a good pass to John Jardis with the lefty rip five hole. Gets the Cavaliers on the board two to one. Number 20 here looking to take the face. Grant Grinesco, the junior on the wing. 25. Good question. The far ring, number six, Jackson Craig, the defense mid. Uh, De La Salle comes up with the ground ball off the face. 
Good D there by Craig, forcing him out. Forces him to move it up the field number 10. Now, if we were to, to talk about how important a face-off is in lacrosse, how important it is it as a momentum builder for your team? Face-offs can win or lose your games. It's lacrosse, one of those sports you can score and get the ball back right away at the X, string four or five goals together in a matter of seconds. It's just how the game works. They call it the fastest game on two feet because the score can be six to one one minute, and then six, six the next. Good catch there by Brillhart, who works up the field. Looking to get the touch past the Lobos. Looks like it's going to roll out of bounds. Cavaliers ball. Now we talk about getting the touch in the box. Connor, you want to talk about that real quick? Sure. So if you have the goalie that saves a ball, a shot, he has four seconds in that blue circle to crease around the net. You then have 20 seconds to get it across half field. And then you have 10 seconds to touch it in the, uh, the, the opposing team's box. And you'll see the referees put up their hand to signal that the team had arrived. And if you don't do that, you get a turnover because it's failure to advance and it's a ch change of possession. Looks like we got a penalty here, number six, Jackson Craig. The Cavaliers will be man down. Errant pass, though, by the Pilots. Cavaliers, luck out. Uh, looking to kill this penalty here. Craig was charged with a one-minute body check. Number two, number two, Wagner moving up this field. Good speed, moves it to Brillhart. Looking to get that touch in the box we talked about. He touches it in, going to look to kill the penalty. De La Salle come with the double with the extra man they got here. Real hard, not phase, calm, running them, working the penalty. Now you'll see. Splits the double beautifully. What were you saying there, Connor? Well, you'll see that a lot of the attack men will put up an arm to, to defend themselves. It's a uh, way of protecting the, the stick, correct? Correct, yeah. Uh, uh, in lacrosse, you can keep put that arm up, but the, you can't deflect the uh, opposing team's stick in any way, or it's a, considered a ward is what it's called, and it's a turnover. Oh, illegal body check to the head there. Possible two-minute penalty coming up on number five for the pilots, John Dubé. We'll see what the ref calls here. And if I remember correctly, it can be non-releasable, correct? Yeah, it's two-minute non-releasable could result. And uh, no matter if the Cavaliers score or not, he must serve the full two minutes. The refs here conversing. Timeout here by the Cavaliers. The call coming in. They gave him a one minute locked in illegal body check. Not the two minute to the head, just the one minute illegal body check. It is locked in, so he will serve the full time. Good opportunity here for the Cavaliers to capitalize. Now we should probably explain where you can hit people so that you don't get a penalty. Uh, lacrosse, the rules are you're no hits to the head, no hits to the back is the rules. Um, you get about a five yard run you can take at a player. Any more head of steam there, you're gonna probably look at an illegal body check there. Uh, similarly to other sports, uh, there's a thing in high school lacrosse called the takeout check. If you leave your feet or if you, it's a malicious check where you're not trying to make a competitive play on the ball, you're going to end up serving penalty. Uh, similar uh, with the sticks, checks, and whatnot, anything to the head or anything to the legs or basically not the hands, stick, or arms, you're going to serve some time for a slashing penalty. Cavaliers going to be man up, though, with this one-minute penalty. Lobo starts with the ball, moves it up to Brillhart. Moves it down to Jardis. Jardis getting pressured well, so runs away from pressure to Farrell. Farrell back to Jardis, playing the little two-man game here, back up to Brillhart. Lobo steps down, shoots, scores! 
Brillhart to Lobo. Lobo with the beautiful shot. Stings the top left corner. We got a 2-2 game here. The face here, we got 20. Jonathan Jardis on the wings. Cole Smith. Again, non-releasable penalty. So number five is still serving his penalty. And similar to sports like hockey, when there is a penalty, you're a man down. So in the cross, they'll be playing with 10 guys right now. False start. Uh, Grinesco went early on the face. Looking for the quick double here, though, with the man up. Great double. Somehow, the pilot hangs on to the ball. Possible stick check on that stick later. I bet you what Coach Stoudemire will be asking for. Uh, loose ball push. Oh, hold up. Looks like we're getting number 20 here. Grant Grinesco with a push with possession. Like how we talked about earlier, uh, we were saying no push in the back or you're going to end up serving time. And this is a 30-second push with possession, so we'll be even here as the pilots are still serving their penalty. 5v5. Wilson pressuring the ball. Good D here on the wing, forcing him to the alley by Cade. Oh, good ground by, by Blackmore. Nice spin move, moves it up to Blackmore. And the Cavaliers will run the fast break. A update on that penalty, it was a one minute slash. Oh, one minute slash. So the Cavaliers will be manned down here for about another 30 seconds, looking to kill the penalty. Brillhart with the ball, moves it up to Lobo, still looking to kill the penalty. Flag down for a slash. Now with flag downs in lacrosse, as long as the ball is not on the turf and up in the air, you can continue to play. I don't know why there's an errant whistle here. Invert and whistle there by the officials. Cost the Cavaliers. They had a free possession there. Could have got a shot off. But no consequence. But we had the man up. Farrell with the shot just wide. Backed up by number 12, Jardis. An illegal procedure penalty. 30 seconds. So Cavaliers will be a two man up. Uh, Lobo with the nice ground ball there. Moves it to Brillhart. Brillhart steps down. No pass. Farrell shoots. Pipe. Oh, the Cavaliers were almost up 3-2. What a shot by Farrell just off the pipe. Backed up, though, by Lobo. Lobo going to start with it here. Moves to Brillhart. It's back to Farrell. Farrell steps down wide. Oh, backed up by the goalie. Cam couldn't get to there. Tough spot. Going to look for a good ride here by the Cavaliers. Try to get the ball back. As you can see, substitutions are much like hockey. You have the area where you come in and off on the field called the box. Good ride here by Jardis. Just gets by him. Cole Smith with a nice ride here. Passing him off. Shot wide. Backed up by the Pilots. Pilots will start with the ball back at X. Wagner with the deep, scooped up ground ball by Blackmore. Looking for some to go past the goalie JP. Will start the clear. Transition here through the box. Pass up the uh, onto my office to mid. Mishandled. Pilots on the fast break. Ground ball, anybody's ball right now. Picked up by the Pilots. Move it down. Errant pass, going to come up. Cavaliers ball. Ground Wag balls, part of the hustle game of lacrosse. Very important, especially at the high school level. 
every possession you can get counts. Absolutely. If you ask any coach, they'll probably tell you right after goals and assists, the next best ca stat to have is ground balls. Sounds like something Coach Stoudemire told you. Yeah, that's a Coach Stoudemire line for sure. Wilson now picks it up. Good lift by the Pilots. Ground ball. Good man ball by the Pilots. They're going to work up the wing. Good ride here by Lobo. Ooh, oh, Pilots on the fast break here. Wilson, though, comes in and stops the fast break. Nice play. Oh, good question mark, but a great lift by Wagner stops the what could have been a goal there. Pilots will start with it back at X. Wilson to play D. Shot wide. Should be goalie ball. No. Official says backed up by the Pilots. Now when the ball goes out, it's the closest to the ball, not the closest to the sideline. Big misconception and... When the clock starts out, people start watching. They think it's the closest to silence, the closest to the ball when it goes out of bounds. Oh, mishandled ball up the midfield. Ground ball kicked across by the Pilots. Good play, though. Scooped up by Craig, the D-mid, looking to run the break. Nice pass over the Brillhart. Plays the one hop. Ah, into the quarter. Couldn't get the shot off. In the first quarter, we have De La Salle two, your Midland Cavaliers two. Let's take a moment to, to talk about uh, the, the differences of the sticks on the field. Um, there's three sticks on the field. You have your midfield and attack stick, which is the smaller one. Uh, still basic head, similar to the defensive stick, except that stick shaft is a lot longer, about a six-foot pole. Uh, you're allowed four of those six-foot poles on the field at a time. And then there's the goalie stick. Somewhere in between the attack shaft, somewhere in between the defense stack, a little bit bigger, uh, with a much larger head, though. And periodically you'll see during the game, uh, the officials will take a stick right after goal and check to make sure it's up to specifications, um, make sure the pocket's too, not too deep. You gotta be able to see a little, if you look, gotta be able to see the ball atop, right below the mesh line. Right now you'll see the officials checking the sticks. If it's found that your stick is illegal, uh, it can be, if it's fixable, the penalty t won't be as long as if it's not fixable, your head's too pinched, the ball can't come out. That'll be a three minute non-releasable. Uh, if it can be fixed, like your pocket's too deep, it'll just be the one minute penalty. But both sticks there look to be clean, so we'll start off the second quarter here. And they uh, switch sides at at every uh, end of quarter. If you're just tuning in and you're new to the game of lacrosse, I suggest you clip on ESPN New sometime here in the next couple weeks. The college championships, pl conference tournaments are on right now. and Quite the sport to watch. False start here by Donahue, going to be the pilot's ball. Speaking of college cross, you play it. How different is it from the high school level? A um, little, little different in some of the rules, but um, for the most part, same game. It's just a little faster, and uh, you get hit a little bit more. And the restarts, like we have right now, are a little quicker. Right there, they made uh, Donahue go back. Oh, he gets yards hilled there. But the Cavaliers come up with it. Uh, in lacrosse, if the stick gets not in your hand, you have to go pick up your stick before you can go play the ball. A little bit different than what it is in hockey. Ground ball. Hockeyed away there by Cam Cassidy. Scrum for it now. Pilots come up with it. Oh, another nice takeaway there. Oh, big hit in the back there by Pilots. There should be Cavaliers ball. Oh, yep, we got a I would, penalty. Play. Yeah, I was going to say, wouldn't be surprised if there's a legal body check there. When the ball is loose, sometimes you'll just get a loose ball push with no penalty, but when it's a hit like that to the back high, you'll usually get an illegal body check there and serve some time. So the Cavaliers will be man up here. Oh, no penalty here. Flag waved off. That's really surprising. Four, 
actually it looks like Cassidy's gonna end up here with the penalty. Didn't see exactly where that came from. Connor, do you see? Uh, unnecessary roughness. I saw him, I think it was like a, a After the jab. play thing. Yeah, yeah okay. a little bit of after the play. Kind of gave him a little bit of a jab. So the Cavaliers will be manned down here, but errant pass. Wilson looking to go contest for it. Good play. Comes up pilots, though. Good defense, though. Really killed some penalty time there. Blackmore now defending. Pilot has ball in the wing. Wilson defending again now behind. Blackmore, good D. Cole Smith now on the coverage. Wilson covering now here. Wagner with good D. Nice check there. Forces the errant pass. Penalty is released, and Craig will shuttle in for defense. Shot by the pilot. Scored. Penalty was just getting over there. Craig hustled in. Good shot, though, by the pilots. Just got shot off before Craig closed in on him. Looks like we'll have Donahue here to face. Craig on the far wing playing the short stick defense. Depending on the, the strategy you want to play here, sometimes you have an offense to win, uh, offense player on the wing. If you're confident you're going to win the face off, looks like the Cavaliers playing defensive here. Good contest there by Craig. Donahue trying to scoop up the ground ball. And still a scrum here. De La Salle comes up with it. Jardis, though, with a good ride, turns him back, which is a great ride play there. Gives his team to set up, get the D mids on the field, and set up the defense. Bad pass, though, by the Pilots. Scooped up by the Pilots, though. Ground ball is a huge factor in the game right now there. Cavaliers could have gained a possession by scooping that one up. Blackmore defending time, great D, turns him back, double comes, recovers, perfect. Here the Cavaliers coach calling for an army, looks like that's their lock off call. Looks like there's try to play one on one, all lock off all the other players, try and get a takeaway here. Now lock off is or lock down is what I was taught was you just make it so no one can get a, a pass, correct? Correct. Usually you have a good matchup you like, you lock off all the other players. Hopefully your defensive guy can go in and take the ball away and, or force them to make a mistake by not having an outlet to pass the ball to. Wagner now playing defense here. Pass over on the wing, up to the top. Pilot's gonna look to set up a dodge here from the midfield. Good smoke there, or change uh, from a short stick to a long coal. Good strategy right there by Coach Stoudemire. Usually uh, you have a long pole. Teams won't want to dodge on the long pole and worked out in favor there, and now they have a turnover in possession. JP, good clear over the Wagner. Wagner doesn't see the guy come. Oh, just in the last second does. Cavaliers are off sides. The official, oh, they catch it. Offsides, one of those ones you will hear coaches hooting and hollering for all the time. Pilots work the ball with the wing. Wagner playing the defense, forcing the pass from behind to X. Pilots looking to set something here, get the ball up uh, the midfield, maybe set up another dodge on the short stick matchup. Yep, and the Cavaliers get a good switch here and force the pole to guard them. Bad. Force the pass. Shoot, save by JP. Another save for the freshman. Playing pretty good in his first start.
Blackmore with it now, moves it up to Payne Cassidy, doing the one-man clear action here, moves it over to Lobo, pass to Donahue on the crease, shoots, save, what a save by the Pilots keep. Blackmore scoots up to GB, takes it up the field though, pass over to Brillhart, Cavaliers back in the attack. Great play there by Blackmore to gain another possession for the Cavaliers. Lobo with it now at the top, looking to set up the offense. Good matchup here, might want to take the dodge, and he does. Split some left hand, pass to the crease, shoot, scores! Payne Cassidy off a great feed from Lobo on the nice split dodge, ties the game up 3-3. Three to three. Number seven, Morley uh, making a little LSM debut here on the wing. Uh, Craig on the far wing, defensive mid, and number five, Alex Farrell making his first debut at the X today. Good goose there by uh, Farrell on the face off. Mishandled though there a bit by the Cavaliers attack. Looks like the official here said that the attackman came out of the box before possession was called. Connor, you want to talk about that a little quick, about possession there on a face-off? Possession on a face-off. Basically, possession has to be called. One team or the other has the ball in their cross, and the r referee will s yell possession, which allows your defenders and attackmen to, to uh, come in and try to help out to get that ground ball. Now what happened here was the attackman got pushed out by the, the defenseman. So I believe that's why the Cavaliers the have the ball the Cavaliers here. Cavaliers have the ball, yes. Farrell with good rollback, flips it over to Cam. Cassie, nice shot fake there. Over to Brillhart at X, one more to Lobo, shoots. Oh, just wide. Looks nice. like the defender got a stick on him. Yeah. Good backup, though, by Cassidy. Brillhart with it here at X. Moves up the wing to Lobo. Lobo moves it one more to Farrell. Pick by Pasek. Good pick. Sets up the shorty and shorty matchup. Errant pass up by the Cavs. Offensive mid shuttle off the field for the defensive mids come on through the box. Cavalier is looking to ride here, force a turnover. Pilots goalie walks it up. Finds an open guy in the middle of the field. Mishandled, though. Ground ball picked up. Moved to Brillhart. Cavalier is on the fast break. One more to... Brillhart settling things down, waiting for the offense mids to get shuttled on. Right now we have a good matchup here for Brillhart. Short stick on attackman. He'll take him one-on-one. -on -one. Shoot, scores! Five hole! Not much shooting in the area there for Brillhart. The aim finds a little daylight and buries it. What a shot. That'll make the score four to three here for the Cavaliers. Donahue here, back at the X. Looks like somebody went early here. Nope, just a false whistle here by the official to redo the face. Good man ball there by Donahue. Oh! Official thought the body check was a little illegal there. Kind of what would you say? It looked like a good man ball to me. 
I'm guessing he thought he was outside the five yard halo to hit. I mean, we're pretty far away from the field. <laughs> so, I uh, mean, Coach Stoudemire is not happy with the call at all. Asking for an explanation. Don't think he's going to get it. Number six, Jackson Craig here serving. Connor, you want to talk about uh, the ground ball play and the how how talk about the five yard rule and how teams like to play it? Um, I think it depends on the coach. Uh, I know we were taught you had one guy. Well, within that five ball, would yell "man," he would go check the man, and then our person would yell "ball." Once somebody picked it up, release. That way there was no penalty afterwards. Um, that's, I think, the most common because that's what I've heard I the would most. agree. A uh, double here by De La with a man up. That's Looks a like hold. a hold there by number 17. No, Coach Sotomayor calls the oh. timeout. Good timeout there. The double was on Brillhart. Try to save the possession here in this tight game. Looked like a hold, though. Looked like a hold. <laughs> Maybe another five seconds longer would have had it. Uh, during this time outbreak, let's talk about uh, your college experience. Uh, your one year out of high school. How is it, uh, Alma, doing? Uh, it's we did all right this year with another fellow uh, Midland Cavalier alums, uh, Ben Luzar and Tanner. I might both played for Cavaliers here last year. Uh, took third in the conference. Uh, had a good season though. Um, Tanner ended up being one of the best faceoff guys in the country there for a while. And uh, now he's down on the sideline. You'll see him here helping out uh, some of the face-off guys here for the Cavaliers. Let's talk about, uh, we call them FOGOs in the cross. What is that exactly? Uh, FOGO is a, it, the acronym stands for face-off, get-off. Uh, it's a position of big in colleges. Uh, you'll get recruited. You literally will just take the face-off, pass it to somebody, and get off the field. You got one job, one job only, and it's to win the face-off. Now, you won an award down at Alma, I believe, correct? Yeah. Um, it was first team there, uh, short stick, D-mid, uh, similar to what uh, uh, Jackson Craig and Cole Smith play here for the Cavaliers. Uh, you play defense. If you get the ground ball, you try and go down the field and score or pass it to somebody else and get off the field for the offensive mid to come on. We have Lobo here dodging the long pole. Looked like they tried to set up a nice pick play here. 14 for De La Salle with some good pokes. Ball over the Farrell, nice dodge down the alley. Slide comes, pass Donahue. Shot blocked by number 11, the Pilots. Ends up getting sweeped up by the goalie. D mids come on for the Cavs, riding well. Good clear though by the Pilots on a nice strong ride by the Cavaliers. Good ground ball by Wilson. Flips it across the field to Farrell. So just gets away from the defender. Nice spin. Farrell with it now. Slowing things down. Looks like Coach Stoudemire's calling on the field now to set up an offense. Real heart with a great matchup here. Short stick. Gonna go into the 1-4-1, one -one, create some dodging space. Real heart shoots. Oh, just wide. Backed up though by Jardis. Real Hart with it now behind the cage. Still with that shorty match up. Cavaliers go back to the 1 4 1. Real Hart past the crease. Oh. Had Jardis open there. Just lost it though. Kept in bounds by Lobo. Lobo now dodging on that shorty. Quick slide past the crease. Nice check though by the pilots. Forces the pass to go out of bounds. Now. I know here at Midland, you play the pole. How did, how did that switch to becoming a defensive midi at Alamo? Uh, the concepts are still the same, and you'll often see it a lot. In college, you'll get guys come out of high school, and next thing you know, in college, you could have been a long pole, you could have been an offensive mid, but with other talent at the program, you just get moved to a defensive mid. 
Looks like Brillhart now with the pass on the good clear. Brillhart's going to get the touch in the box. Didn't get it there. Ooh, push in the back there by 30. Loose ball push. Should be Cavalier's ball. And Brillhart will get that touch. Once again, has the shorty matchup. Nice dodge there. Slide comes. De La Salle, after getting beat on these quick uh, dodges here, is starting to slide a lot quicker. Should open up some nice passing lanes, though, for the Cavaliers. The pole comes on the field there. LSM now with it now. Runs by the team, looking to get that touch in the box. Got it. Great play there by the LSM. Sometimes that long stick midi, you got to play a little offense there for a quick bit. Yep, that's the what that, that was the position I played my first year. A little long stick midi action. Timeout here by May Midland with just a minute 37 left to play here in the first half. Uh, Cavaliers this year be, uh, coming off a nice win against Flint Powers, clinching another SVL title, the third straight for the Cavaliers. As every year that they've been in the program now, they've had uh, conference titles. Their biggest, our biggest um, opponent when we were playing was Flint Powers. So a big win against them, I believe, last night, definitely <laughs> carrying momentum in the into into this game because De La Salle is another one of those teams from downstate. Yep. Um, last year, Cavaliers played De La Salle. Uh, lost around, I think I remember the score around 15 to 8. Much better uh, contest here though this year. Cavaliers putting up a much better fight here. Which is amazing because you look at uh, the roster for Midland. Very young roster. I mean, there's only four or five seniors. So, I mean, you have the freshman in net, JP, doing an excellent job today. Um, starting over the, the junior, Chase. Looks like Chase battling a knee injury. Looks like Midland's going to start with it out in the alley. Opposite alley from where they initially had the ball. A little interesting there. Uh, number five, Farrell it is with the ball. Rolls back. Nice pass to the crease. Kane. Oh! Cam Cassidy with a nice fake. Got the goalie down the one knee and somehow ended up making the save. Excellent fake. Just a even more better save. Wilson now with good pressure here out on the wing. Double comes from Blackmore. JP, nice save though. He's passed up the field to Farrell on the clear. Farrell handles it, fast breaks on. Back up to Farrell here. Omid comes on the field, pass to Pasek, rolls. Shoots, oh, what a save. It looked like off the goalie's helmet there. That or off uh, the stick, kind of a lightsaber save almost. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, backed up though by the Cavs. Brillhart with it now, dodging up the alley. Question marks, rolls back. Nice move. Splits the defenders there with the shot just high. Backed up by the Cavaliers. Cassidy with it now. Two Cassidy brothers on the team. Cam, the senior, and his younger brother, Payne. Nice roll there by Cam. Somehow sells the ball, gets it taken away there. Scrum on the crease, nobody knows where it's at. Pilots find it first out in the corner. Must have been a recon pilot there. <laughs> Good check, though, there by number 25. Gooses it to the middle of the field, into the quarter. 
at halftime. Cavalier is going to be up 4-3 to three over the visiting pilots here at Midland Community Stadium as the sun begins to fall. Looks like we got a good game on our hands. So we were talking about goalies. Um, goalies, of course, have that uh, oversized head. Let's talk about it. Um, they don't wear very much uh, protective equipment. Uh, when I first started playing lacrosse, I looked at the goalies and I thought they were absolutely crazy. I mean, they got a same helmet with a little bit of a neck guard, a little bit bigger chest pad, but other than that, not many goalies wear arm guards like the traditional players do. Some wear shin guards, which... Every now and then you'll see a goalie with shin guards, but you don't see too many. Nope. Well, of course, they probably wear a cup, too. Well, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> I know as defensemen, a lot of us even wore cups because we got hit a lot with yep. balls. But padding in lacrosse is not like you see in hockey or nope. football, and it's about the same amount of contact. Um, we're going to cut to a quick break here, though, for halftime. We'll be back in about a little bit here. Welcome back to Midland Stadium for the game between the Midland Cavaliers and De La Salle. Recap of the first half, De La Salle scored first. They went up 2-0. Midland came back to tie it up at 2 all, and then they scored two more goals for the current score of 4-3. to three. Um, Looks like we're going to go ahead and start the second half. Looks like we got uh, Donahue here at the opening phase. Uh, Cole Smith with the short stick D mid on the far wing and near side long stick midi. David Kepner. Coming up to play a little LSM. Ball start there by Donahue. Went a little early. Pilots ball. Good quick double opportunity there by Cole Smith. Donahue looking to get off here for a D mid. Craig comes on. In the first half, you were talking a lot about a uh, short stick matchup against a short stick. What is that? What do you mean by that? Like an attack man against a short stick midi. Goal there by the highlights. A lot of times, uh, you don't want to try an initiating dodge to the goal on a long stick. You're better off on trying to uh, take the dodge there on a short stick, and that's the match if you look up to start your dodge. A little bit uh, harder to dodge on a long pull, but uh, every now and then, feet. <laughs> yeah, extra three feet helps you out a little bit. Every now and then, though, you uh, try to get somebody to take the ball away. I know Coach Stoudemire from Cavaliers preaches defenseman body mm -hmm. position, never try to take the ball away, and you can get away with going against the long pole. Face off here, ground ball opportunity. Donahue almost has it there. Off the pilots, it looks like. No, off the Cavaliers. Again, Midland's not getting those face-offs. They're not getting those extra possessions. Looks like the pilots are going to have it here on the restart. Still no touch in the box for the pilots. Then they remember, still need it and get it in. Good check, though. Ball down. Oh, nice play there by the pilots to goose it to his teammate. Shot. Way wide, backed up though by the pilots. Slide adjacent there. Pilots defender wide, offender wide open there. Just missed the cage though. Back off to the goalie. D mids for the Cavaliers run off. O mids run on. And the Cavaliers look to start to clear. Number two, 22, Wagner with the ball in the clear. Moves it up the field. Nice long pass up to Jardis. Good check, though, by the Pilots. Defender takes the ball away. Nice hit there by Wagner. Jars the ball loose. Scrum here in the middle of the field for the ball. 
Pilots defender, uh, Goose at the middle of the field. Donahue picks it up, moves it one more. Ooh. Nice check there by Farrell, forces him out of bounds. Right here, Pilots lucky they're not getting delay game call here. Didn't give five yards on the restart. Long pass up the field. Ooh, loose ball push there coming from the pilot. It's going to be Cavaliers ball in the alley. Lobo with the ball here. Moves it up the Payne Cassidy over to the Farrell. Farrell, nice ground ball. Makes a run to the cage. Skip pass to Cassidy. Mishandles it. Fighting for the ground ball here. Good ride here by Cassidy. Payne Cassidy playing D here on the pilots. Now passes him off to Blackmore to play aggressive D here on the pilots. Flag down. Didn't see what the infraction was here. Far side of the field. Let's see what the call is first. One Elite. minute illegal bodge check. I think the ball was, was the way, yeah. and then he came in and uh, was cleaned it, up shot. Was it uh, when he ran to the pick there, I think, was the call. After that. Yeah, after the ball was the way. Pilot shot just high. Pilots here with the ball on the man up. Bad pass. Going to get out of bounds. Good break here for the Cavaliers. Blackmore with it now in the quick restart. Looking for somewhere to go with it. Skips it one more to Wagner. Cavaliers looking to kill the penalty. Over to Wilson. Good check there by the Pilots. Takes ball away. Wilson with ground ball, though, and just Gilman's it down the field to kill the penalty. Cam Castier, nice ride here. Oh, good check by Cam Cassidy there. Ground ball picked up by Wagner. Pass up the field to intended there for Jardis. Oh, boy. Ball rolling to the cage. Ground ball picked up by Wagner. Wagner... Uh, Pass over the Wilson, just a little too far out in front of him, goes out of bounds. Pilots here with the ball, taken in the alley. Good defense here by number 35 to the Cavaliers. David Kepner really bothered him over here. Nice pokes, wrap checks, pushes him out. Pick coming, though. Nice check there by Kepner. Moves it up the field, a little too far, far out in front of it. Nice check there. Ground ball goosed over there to number... Looks like six. Jackson Craig, nice pass. Ooh, Pasek almost tried to hock that one in just a little too far and ran into the crease. Going to be Pilot's ball. Nice deflection there by 26, Joseph Fabiano. Morley in there. Failure to advance call. Turnover. We got Midland ball. Ooh. Good job there by number. Looks like 21 Lobo. 
Passes it to number one, Payne Cassidy. Shot just wide. Backed up by the Pilots. Pilots looking to clear here. Pass up the field. Errant pass though. Hockeyed in, bounced. Nice play by the Pilots. Nice ground ball, pick up by Wagner. Flag down on, looks like a slash coming. Man up opportunity on the way here for the Cavaliers. Ball hits the deck though. So that will end the free possession. Cavaliers though, man up here. 4-4 ball game, good opportunity to capitalize here. Looks like it's going to be a one-minute slashing one minute penalty. Slash, yep. Not sure what she's I think here. the Cavaliers had an extra guy run on the field, run off, a little confusion. Technically, play should not have started, though, if there was uh, not a right number of guys in the field. Pilots got long stick mid runs on the field, shot scored for the Pilots. Interesting how that whole play worked out there. Tough break there for the Cavaliers. Had a nice opportunity. Uh, Donahue at the X looking to try and turn things around, though, and win this faceoff. Don't know what the call was there. Some sort of face-off infraction going to be Pilot's ball. Cavaliers going to lock off here. Quick double coming. Good D here by the LSM of the Cavaliers. Force a nice double. No good, no call there by the official. Nice kick up the field there by Wagner. Gives them a chance to reset. Pilots looking for a clear here. Still man down. Cavaliers still man up opportunity. Looking for the double here. Check there by Craig. Oh, nice check there by 25. Moves it up to Craig. Craig, nice spin move. Moves it. Oh, deflected before it can get to Brillhart. Might trickle there. Morley, ground ball opportunity. Comes up. Pilots for a brief moment. Still ground ball. Shot saved by JP. Craig with ground ball. Nice pass to Will Blackmore, that is. Pipe. Shot for the Pilots, backed up by the Pilots. Restart coming. Somebody's got to get on the ball. Shot just wide by the Pilots, backed up by the Pilots once again. Blackmore with the D here. Turns him back. Great D. Wagner with the pressure. Morley now up top. Grinesco, good defense. Forces him down the alley. Takes away his shooting angle. JP can make the save. Cavaliers hoping to get a good clear here. Need to clean it up a little bit. 
Brillhart now with the ball, looking to get that touch. And he touches it in here. Cavalier is going to settle down a little bit. Hopefully get us off started. Lobo with it now. Farrell now. Good dodge opportunity here. Shorty on shorty. Moves it to one more. Cam Casty, one more to Brillhart. Donahue with it up top. Shorty on shorty matchup. Quick slide coming. Pass. Deflected. Ends up. Pilot's ball on the fast break. Early slide comes by Wagner. Oh, Aaron. Cavaliers lucked out there on a drop pass. Cav uh, Pilot's had a two-on-one opportunity. Wet Blackmore with the ground ball. Moves it up the field. Whistle here, unknown what it's for. Flag down. Twenty one Lobo gonna serve time with a slash one minute. Must have been back behind the play because yeah. I didn't see it. Pilot's going to start now with the ball behind the X off that shot. One more pass to the wing up top. Good check there by, it looks like, Wagner. Blackmore now, nice deflection there. Could, could not come with the ground ball, though. Pilot's retained possession. Shot. Nice save by JP. Priest violation there, free clear opportunity. David here with the ball, moves it up to Brillhart. Brillhart running through traffic. They're gonna need to get a touch. And there's that touch. Never seen that before. Brillhart gets checked, somehow the defenseman loses his stick. Moves it to Lobo, who just comes out of the box. Back to Brillhart. Good matchup here. Shorty on shorty. No slide ready. Brillhart chooses to set up the offense, so. Now he'll dodge. Question marks. Double comes. Good ride opportunity here, maybe force a turnover. Pilot's goalie walking it up, walking it up. Finds an open guy. Pilots move the ball one more. Shot scores. That'll make the score 6-4 with about a minute left here in the third. Cavaliers can't seem to get the offense rolling here in the second half so far. Farrell here to take the face off. Nice face off win by Farrell. Fast break coming down. Pass just a little high for Jonathan Jardis, though. Let's talk about the goalie position for a second. In high school, they're much like a field general, telling the defense where to slide, when to slide. Is that similar to a college game? Same thing, if not more, of the field general. If there's one guy in the field you're listening to, it's your goalie. You get lost. He knows exactly where you should be, similar to a quarterback in football. He knows the offense inside and out. The goalie knows the defense inside and out. Pasek here with the ball now, looking to get the offense started. 
Bounce pass cross field to Brillhart. Brillhart up to Lobo. Lobo starts his dodge. Rolls. Looks like they're going to get into a 1 4 set here. So quick dodge comes. Rolls. Shot. Nice save by the Pilots goalie. Lobo pegged that bottom left corner. Pilots goalie made an excellent save. Pass up the field. Blackmore scoops it up. Um, Looks like a penalty flag. Flag on the play number six. Jackson Craig. Legal body check. Legal body check, one minute. Releasable, though, not locked in. About, about 10 seconds left here in the third. Gavel or pilots will just hold and retain possession for the fourth quarter. At the end of the third quarter, De La Salle comes back from down one and a half to go up two, six four. The coverage of this lacrosse match is produced by MCTV volunteers and staff. If you'd like to work on shows this, like this one, come to the next orientation backslash studio training class on the second Saturday, May 9th, or June 13th from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. The cost is just $45, which includes your first annual access user fee. Learn more about MCTV and how to become a TV producer and get hands-on training to become a volunteer. Call 837-3474 or come down to the MCTV studio in the lower level of the Grace A. Dow Memorial Library. Look, at, look more at uh, www.cityofmidlandmi.com dot gov backslash mctv or follow mctv on facebook fourth quarter here about to get on the way cavaliers coach stoudemire talking to the boys what do you think uh coach stoudemire would be talking to him about? i think he was probably telling him uh we need to clear up the clear games a little bit Get on offense, be a little bit more patient, set up the offense, exploit the matchups they're getting. A lot of times they're getting the short stick, short stick matchup. Slide's coming early. Got to look to move it one more to the open guy. Pilot's going to start man up here for the first 50 seconds or so of this fourth quarter. Huge kill opportunity right here for the Cavaliers. Pilots working around the horn, setting up the offense. Bad pass by the Pilots. Wilson, great pressure, kicks it to Wack or JP. Good clear opportunity right here needed. JP moves it up to Blackmore. Blackmore, nice spin. Still looking to clear and kill this penalty. Another spin by Blackmore. Moves it up to Lobo, who handles it. Momentarily, before it gets checked out of bounds by the pilots. Oh, it must have been an, uh, off the pilots there. He moves it to Brillhart. Brillhart still looking to get that touch in the box. Gets it. Being harassed a little bit by the pilot's defender. Brillhart's like, I'll take you for a run. Hits the brakes on him, wraps around, pass, shoots, scores! Brillhart hits the brakes, wraps around, finds Payne Cassidy on the doorstep. Payne's goal makes it five to six here. Cavaliers with a little life. Payne's second goal of the evening here.
Brailhart, the senior, with another nice feed. The general of the offense, similar how the goalie is the general of the defense, usually on attack, you got that one guy who leads your offense. Donahue, nice face-off win. Ground balls. Gonna come up. Midland. Flag down, though. Illegal cross check on D. LaSalle. That's going to be a one minute penalty. Cavaliers man up, looking to tie the game. Brillhart sets it up, moves it over to Farrell, dumps down the Jardis, back to Farrell, mishandles it for a second, moves it to Lobo. Lobo, Brillhart with the ball, shot scores! Nice pass there from. Cam Cassidy, another senior. Game's tied six to six. Excellent execution on the man up for the Cavaliers. Right back in the game. That was Cam Cassidy's second goal of the matchup. Was that Cassidy or I think Brillhart on the goal? Assist from Cassidy. Oh. Pilots with the ball here. Blackmore now defending here behind the cage on the pilots. Good D. Nice save by JP and his freshman debut, making a huge save. Wagner now on the clear, looking for the one-man clear. Nice flip pass, just mishandled though. Payne Cassidy looking to shuttle off. You get the uh, long stick midi on the play field for defense. D up top, nice D by Cole Smith, turns Pilots attacker back. Looking for the switch to come. Shot looked deflected just wide by goalie JP. Pilots back it up though. Blackmore here defending behind. Pilots dodge down the alley. Great D rolls back. Shot way wide. Great D there on the play by number 20, Grant Grinesco. Pilots attack with the ball behind the cage. Wagner D on the defense. Shot just high above the cage. Going to be Pilot's ball. Got to, the, got to the sideline first, close to the ball. Whistle here on the play. Don't know what that was for, but Pilot still have the ball. Good switch there for the Cavaliers, getting the long stick on the ball. Nice save by JP right on the doorstep. Another clear opportunity here for the uh, Cavaliers. Cavaliers need to slow it down on the clears, not rush it up the field. Wagner, nice check. Looks like we're gonna have a loose ball push on the Cavaliers. Offensive midi shuttle off. Cole Smith, nice check. Fast break on the way. Oh, just mishandles it. 
Moves it one more to Jardis. A little scrum here on the sideline, can't see it. Meanwhile, Farrell takes the ball and down the alley. Brillhart with the question mark. Shot saved though. Penalty is gonna be. A non-releasable. So. Non-releasable, looks unsportsmanlike conduct. A number 33 minute unsportsmanlike non-releasable off the camera here, came to the, check the player out of bounds, got a little scrum with the Cavaliers bench. That could be really costly though for the Pilots. Cavaliers though, looking to take advantage of this. A three minute non-releasable penalty. Three minutes. Looks like a warding call down in that alley. I'd call that a ghost ward. I didn't see it. But this three minute penalty here, the pilots are gonna call timeout and talk it over how they wanna try and kill it. With just about seven minutes left to play here in the fourth. I didn't know if they called an illegal screen or a ward down there in the corner. It looked like they could call an illegal ward, but I'm not sure. Like we mentioned early, a ward is when the player uses his offhand to block the uh, defender's stick away from his stick, and you just can't do that. Three-minute penalty non-releasable, one of the hardest to uh, kill in lacrosse. I know you had to serve a couple of them on the field. Yeah, I mean, when you're uh, trying to defend that from a man down's perspective, you really just tell your guys, you know, we get the ball, don't go to the goal, try and force a shot. If we get the ball, let's try and kill every bit off the clock of this penalty we can. From the offense perspective, if you get the ball and you score, you win that face off right after the goal, you're still man up for however much time's on the penalty. But right here, Cavalier is probably going to try a quick double right off the whistle, try to get the ball back. Imagine that's what Coach Stoudemire just told him in the timeout. We talk a lot about um, our fellow alums of the program, but there's still some of these uh, players that we've played with. There's a couple of uh, defensemen you and I were very close with on the field. Connor uh, Wilson. Connor Wilson, Wes Blackmore now, uh, who both played LSM in my, my, my playing days now, right. starting at close D. Uh, I played with Brillhart in all four uh, years here. They're all three. He's a year younger than me as a freshman. It's kind of neat to watch them develop and come into great varsity players. Now, Wes Blackmore is the uh, left-handed defenseman. How often do you see that at the college level? Uh, it's just like any sport. You see a lefty, and you, it's good to have them. You can put them uh, against a, a righty attackman for a good advantage there, similar to how you would a lefty pitcher in baseball, you know. Time out here by Midland, looking to try and retain possession, get a good clear. Coach Stoudemire looks talking to the boys, trying to set up a couple plays here. They've had this penalty for about a minute here and still not a shot yet. I imagine he's setting up something to get the ball in Brill Hart or uh, uh, Lobo's hands here.
Cavaliers next are going to have Okemos, uh, one of the top teams in the state this year, looking to make a run for the state title, uh, ranked fourth currently. That'll be a good test for the Cavaliers. Hopefully they can get the win here, come down there, go down to Okemos with a little momentum. We talk about uh, how much the program has grown over the past 10 years. I mean, we went from, you know, like how you mentioned, 13 players to 270 or more, depending on the year through from K to 12. It's very impressive what uh, Joe Stoudemire has been able to do yep. with this program. Coach Stoudemire, uh, this is the second program he's actually started. Uh, started the program down in uh, Indiana, won a state championship down there, and then came up here. And um, uh, started this program up now in the third varsity year. And you can just see, just from this year to last year, how much it's came along. And uh, the fact how close this game is, last year an eight-goal loss, shot there by Lobo. And now we got a tie game here, chance Cavaliers to win. Lobo with the ball now, works it to Brillhart. Brillhart surveys the field, skip pass to the crease. Pass, they ruled it a pass, not a shot. So Cavaliers need to mark up here on the ride. They do have the man up still. Every person should be covered. Mishandled pass though, ground ball. Morley scoops it up. Passes across field to Farrell. Farrell rolls, rolls again. Gets away from trouble, moves it to uh, Brillhart. Settles things down here with about another minute to 30 seconds left in the penalty. I could have seen Morley taking a shot. I thought he was going to step in and rip there, but chose to settle it down. Brillhart with an L over the Farrell. Farrell steps down, just wide. Looks like got deflected. Cassidy with it here. Moves it up to Lobo. Lobo to Brillhart. Over to Farrell. Farrell passes it down to Jardis. Jardis back to Farrell. Lobo looks like there's a little wheel action here. Had Brillhart on the doorstep, just mishandled it. Ground ball picked up by Farrell, looking to get away from trouble. Lobo steps down. Oh, save off hit by the pilot goalie. Right opportunity here. Bad pass. Good defense by Wagner. Ground ball, huge ground ball here. Wagner scoops it up, runs through some pilot defenders up the field. We're all even, though. Pilots, good job killing the extra man. Pass nice. right on the doorstep to Brillhart from Cassidy. Cavaliers going to go up one here with about four minutes left. Excellent feed from Cassidy. That's Brillhart's third of the game. Hat trick for Brillhart, the senior. Farrell here going to take the face off. Kepner on the wing at the LSM. Huge ground ball picked up here. Fast break on the way right down Main Street. Pass to Jardis. Slows it down. Good decision here with about four minutes left. Pass. To Jardis, Jardis slows it down again. Now you go into some time management here. Clock management right wouldn't would assume is what the Cavaliers are about to get into here. Try to slow the game down. Brillhart with a nice matchup though. Rolls back. Slows the things down. Brillhart looking for space.
just past, just a little wide from Cassidy. They tried to force the goal there a little bit. Tried for the insurance goal. And the pilots come up with it. Good ride here. Pilots find the open guy, though. Three minutes just left to play here at Midland Community Stadium. Cavaliers looking for their first ever win against D. LaSalle. L. Wagner with it now. Nice pass over to JP. We'll start a clear here. Cavaliers really need to slow down their clear game, not rush it up the field. That 30 seconds is a lot longer than you think. Turnover there. Cavaliers shuttling in their D mids. Pilots shuttling in their O mids. Pilots number 10. Pass cross crease. Nice check by Wagner. Flag down. A slash. I disagree. Coach Stoudemire not happy with the call. That is huge. Looks like a good check to me, Connor. I don't know. Number 22, Wagner is going to serve in one minute for slash. Pilot's going to call timeout to talk it over. Stoudemire with his hands on his head in disbelief at the call. You ask me the difference between high school and college, and it's that right there. there you just That call is simply not there. There's a lot more contact in the game. So more body to body. More, more body, more stick checks. Um, I remember, especially if you are tuning in and watch the college game, you hear the slash oh, across the pad. And you feel them the next day waking up, too. Because <laughs> um, when you're a defender, you typically are dealing out that punishment. But yep. once you become a midi, you probably got a lot more. Oh, I got my fair share. I guess it's karma for dealing all, all of them when I was the long pole. Right. <laughs> Cavaliers here, man down. Huge, huge moment in the game. If they can get the stop, might just walk out of here with the win. Looks like Midland's going to go to a box and one. Box and one, rotate around here. 19 of the pilots has a great D there by Smith. Forces a bad pass. Scooped up by Wagner, or no, Kepner with it. Gilman's it down the field. Brillhart racing to get to it. He's going to get to it. We might step into a timer down opportunity here, or call. That's uh, when the officials feel that the uh, Cavaliers aren't making effort to the goal. Brillhart passing the doorstep just high. Lobo's going to run it down, though. Huge. I always forget how fast short sticks can be. <laughs> Timeout, though, by the Cavaliers. Going to talk things over and uh, slow things down. They got a minute 47 left. They got to kill off the penalty and then hang on for the victory. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, so the timer done, it's, uh, it's a stall thing. And if the officials feel that you're not making an effort to go to the goal and try and score, they'll put a timer on. And it's basically you have to get a shot on goal in that 30-second period or it's a turnover. With the field so big, you could just hold on to it and run around the field. So they implement the timer on. And that probably started um, from the college level. You look at some of the college teams, they run an offense based on Wasting time. Wasting time. Maryland, um, some of the higher end schools. I remember a former Cavaliers coach, Coach Daly, telling me uh, they were playing one of the best teams in Maryland. They got up three to two and uh, just kept shooting it over the goal, wasting time for a full quarter. 12 minutes they had the ball. They ended up going on the win the game. I could imagine maybe the rule came from there. Possible. <laughs> Brillhart now is going to start with it. Quick double is going to come from the Pilots. Yeah. 
Double happens. Pilots come up with it. I got to drop back and play some D. Got to play D. Penalty is released. Yep. Pilots with the ball now. A minute and a half remaining. Nice face out for the pilot. Shoot scores. The pilots tie the game with just a, a little over a minute here to play. Looked like a little bit of a late slide from the help defense. Cavaliers, though, have been in situations like this before. Multiple overtime game against Orchard Lake St. Mary's earlier in the year. They end up getting the win. That was four overtime periods, if I remember correctly. The Cavaliers are what well, one team would say, a clutch team. Let's see how they respond. We talk about how fast the game of lacrosse can change. Face off here, scooped up by hopefully the Cavaliers. What? Donahue with it now. That should have been a slash. Interesting no call. DeLaSalle going to launch it down the field. A holding call on the Cavaliers. I thought the hold was on the Pilots. DeLaSalle with the ball now with just about 49 seconds left. Oh no, shot wide. This reminds me of my sophomore year, same thing. Huge ball down, nice check there by Kepner. Gotta be careful not to get a slash on those. That slacks. should be interference there on the pilots. And the call is made. With about 30 seconds left. Nice pass up. One more to Wilson. One more up to Brillhart. Mishandle. He ends up picking it up. He will run away from danger. He's going down the goal. Sixteen seconds left here. Pass to the crease. Knocked down. Ten seconds left. Five seconds. De La Salle going to launch it down the field. It's going to go out of bounds. We're going to go to overtime here at Midland Community Stadium. Seven to seven. I don't know how much admissions was, but quite the game. I believe for overtime rules, they get either a four or five minute overtime period. I believe each team is awarded one timeout. Luckily for the Cavaliers, like I mentioned, they've been here before. Um, the captains will meet at midfield, and there will be another coin toss for uh, AP and possession. Or which end of the field you'd like to defend. But JP doing very well in his uh, game against De La Salle so far. In his opening debut. Brillhart, captain of the Cavaliers at midfield right now. With uh, De La Salle captain uh, Griffin Hibner, the goalie. Both those guys having a great game. De La Salle wins the toss and will elect to defend the goal closest to their side of the field. Cavaliers will take first AP. Captain shake it up and we're having overtime here. I imagine Coach Lou's got some great speech down there right now firing the team up. He always has. I think he comes from being a football coach as well. Yeah, a little uh, Denzel Washington, remember the Titans speech? Something along the lines, I'm sure. Wow. 
huge face-off right here, like we talked about all game. Face-offs and ground balls equal possessions. Does look like it's going to be a four-minute OT period, and I believe they continue playing until you have a goal. Yes, sudden death. This reminds me of when we played Powers my senior year. Yeah, heartbreaking loss. I try to forget it. Donahue, huge face off. Ground ball is going to come up. De La Salle, though. Nice check, though. Yep. Looked like a high check. Flag going to be called, though. Could have been a little high. Cross check, one minute. That's better than in having a the cross two minute non releasable head. for the head. Which is what I thought was going to be called. De La Salle with the ball on the wing. Biggest man down of the year here for the Cavaliers. Pass over number 29. Step down, shot high. Hold You'll my see. breath every time on one of those. You see the defenders just trying to throw their bodies in front of the ball. Help their shot goalie out. Wide, should be backed up. Cavaliers ball. Excellent play by the freshman goalie, JP. Heads up play to go chase that down. Cavaliers need a clear. Wagner's pass handled by Kepner. JP is definitely one of the more athletic high school goalies I've seen. Very quick. Timeout. Good timeout used by Coach Stoudemire to avoid the turnover there and keep possession. You see number 32, Jay Skylitz giving his uh, younger counterpart goalie, JP, a big pat on the back. Yes. Chase actually was in that on that first OT victory earlier in the season. So he is ve uh, well versed in probably how. Probably giving him some advice. Yeah. <laughs> but JP has been stellar this whole entire game. Uh, Coach Stonemeyer once again trying to fire up the guys, hopefully setting up a, or I can imagine setting up a good clear here for the boys. Their clear game has not been the strongest. I mean, I've seen them play a lot better with their clears. But, you know, it's still 7-7, seven, seven, so they're doing something <laughs> right. Donahue roughly has about another 20 seconds, 20 to 30 seconds left in his penalty. Lobo looks like he's going to start with the ball in the wing, try for the one-man clear. Gets by one, gets by two. Pulled down by the head, I imagine. A oh, there's two flags. Two oh. flags, probably the same call. Maybe a, a hold or could be a, a head hold. Two minutes. They're just going to give him the one-minute hold or possible even a 30-second. Looks like a technical. Looks like a 30-second. A 30-second technical uh, penalty. So that means we're playing even strength for about another half a minute. Cavaliers might have a 10 second man up opportunity. No clue what the call was there. Coach Stoudemire is asking the same question. Cam Cassidy, great ride. Just missed on the check. Kepner now playing D. Good help, D. Crease violation. Great D there by the Cavaliers. Good help and everything. Slide came. Now we need a patient clear. Nice pass up to Wilson. 
Wilson looking, finds Brillhart. Got to be a stronger pass than that. Brillhart with it now, looking to run away from danger, get the touch. Oh, we're back up to full strength on both sides. Just over two minutes left to play here. Cavaliers might look to just iso Brillhart here behind the cage and look for the slide to come early. Quick pass. Brillhart still looking for somewhere to go. Pick comes from behind. Two-man game with Jardis. Brillhart pass to Farrell. Farrell shoots. Backed up by the pilots on Farrell's shot. Two minutes left here to play. Got to get help. Pilots defend or offend takes a shot. Deflected off the pipe. Ground ball huge here. Who's going to come up with it? It looks like a... Loose ball push. Loose ball push infraction. Can't tell who has the ball. Old passes over the Wilson. Wilson tries to split defenders, does it. Just loses the ball, picks, runs over it, then picks it up. Flips it over the Brillhart. Brillhart looking to get the touch with just about a minute left here. Brillhart passes to Donahue. Donahue has the matchup, passes to Farrell. Farrell evades danger. Pass back to Donahue. Donahue now with the long pole matchup, looking to probably get it back to Lobo with the shorty. He does. Sets the get. Lobo with the shot. Oh, save. Lobo got the shot he wanted, just couldn't find Twine. 40 seconds roughly here to play. Pilots looking to clear it up the field. They do. Timeout called by the pilot. It's with 30 seconds left. Whew. Quite the game we have here. Okay, hey kids, you want to learn how to create a TV show? Sign up for MCTV Summer Video Camp. The camp runs Monday through Thursday, June 22nd through the 25th, or August 3rd through the 6th from 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. The cost will be $50. The camp is open to kids ages 12 to 17. Call MCT, MCTV at 837-3474. For more information, or stop by the MCTV on the lower level of the Grace A. Dow Library, or line at www.cityofmidlandmi.gov backslash MCTV. Hurry, space is limited. Pilots come out fired up out of that timeout. So do the Cav Cavaliers, though. Twenty-five seconds here. Number ten for the pilots. Looks for some of the go passes behind. Clock times down. Twenty seconds left. Kepner playing D one on one. Slide. Hopefully ready for the Cavaliers. Nice check there. Shoots just wide. Ground ball picked up by JP. Good body. Three seconds left. Two, one. Double overtime is on the way. Here at Midland Community Stadium. Good job by JP to get that ball. His, his uh, defender helped him out with the body. We'll add four more minutes on the clock. Each team will get one more timeout. They'll switch sides and double OT.
Once again, we have the Honor the Game tournament coming up, up on May 9th with over 50 teams coming to uh, play. This is ranging anywhere from three, third grade to all the way up to eighth grade. Definitely a fun tournament. Both uh, Austin and I have helped out during our time as uh, as um, players uh, and as yeah, alum. Yeah, it really sure. shows how just how the Midland Lacrosse has grown with 50 teams coming over to this tournament. It just shows the respect that we're getting from other teams in the state too. Yeah, and I mean, during this past summer, Midland even had a, a uh, travel team that played at multiple tournaments. So just the amount of skill and talent that is upcoming is very... Uh, very neat to see. Donahue here, the face-off, huge ground ball. Who's going to come up with it? Looks like Cole Smith has it for a second. Gets goosed up, picked up by De La Salle. Pilots have the ball. Ball's on the deck. Huge ground ball here. Picked up by the Pilots. Runs to the cage, shoots, and scores. That's the ball game here. Final, 8-7. to seven. De La Salle takes it. Heartbreaker for the Cavaliers. But... Great heart was shown by both teams in this game. And then a great part of the tradition of, of lacrosse, your team storms out to field, congratulate the goalie on his performance. Doesn't matter win or lose, because goalies have probably one of the hardest jobs, jobs in the game. Uh, that's the final here, 8 7 from the Community Stadium. Catch this game on MCTV, 189 on Charter and 99 on ATU Uvers in Midland. Uh, Austin Ear and Connor Kylitz. Have a good one.
pleasant runners in lane four and five. That was Lexi Milky and Lizzie Staples in lane five. This is the first heat of the girls' 200-meter dash. And Conley in lane seven, isn't it? From Midland High. Oh, yeah. Curly in, uh, in lane six, I believe, from Midland High. That's right. Coming around the curve. That is uh, Dow High. Jenna Sampson with the lead. In the middle of the high is Caitlin Perry in second. And it's going to be Mount Pleasant in lane, uh, third place and fourth place. That's Milky coming in third and Staples in fourth. Wait for the second heat for the total results. Okay. Let's take another look at this one as we come down the stretch. A great race by Jenna Sampson. Uh, easily in first place. And boy, that was close for second place between uh, Caitlin Perry and Alexa Milky. And then it was Staples. So we'll have to see how that one turns out. That was a, uh, what you call a photo finish. Ready to give us those names? Jenna, you ready? Thank you, sir. That's all we're going to need today okay. for names, okay? You did a great job, Jed. And we're all set for the second heat of the girls' 200. Marie Fiore from Dow High is in lane one. Michaela Russell from Midland, lane two. It's Pendleton from Dow High in lane three. Salva from Mount Pleasant in four. And leaves from Midland Lane Six. Clark we in Lane could Seven. We get a place from this heat. And could so get a place. that is Michaela Russell in the lead now. But here comes Mount Pleasant. It's going to be close, and Mount Pleasant will take it. Uh, that is Salva nips uh, Michaela Russell right at the wire, and uh, I believe that is. Uh, you can quite see who is in third from Dow High. So like we said before, the they'll uh, just assess the